Hey, what's going on sports bettors? Matt here with Odd Jam. What I'm going to be doing in this video is giving out some sharp player prop bets for Thursday night football. Talked a little bit about this game. Not the most fun game in the world. One and four commanders at the two and three bears, but still a primetime football game. We are all going to watch it. So might as well make it a little bit more fun and have some action to sweat out. So for me, this video is specifically going to be giving out player props if you want. Anytime touchdown score, best bets. If you want uh, just a betting preview, check out. Those videos are at the OddsGM YouTube channel. Make sure to check that out. So let's get into it. Of course, whenever I go about betting on uh, NFL, NBA, whatever, the first thing I do is I go to OddsGM.com and I check out the positive expected value page. Um, using OddsGM, using the positive EV page provides betting opportunities in which you are gaining the edge over the sports book. And that's really all we want, right? Right? We want to gain an edge. We want to have some sort of way in which we can gain an edge over these sports books that generally have the edge over you. Charging a VIG, charging the juice, gives the sports books the edge. Finding a sharp tool like Ajdam takes the edge back. So the first play that we are locking in here, Justin Fields passing attempts over 23 and a half. I get that this one sounds scary because Justin Fields has games where he only attempts 11 passes, but as the season has gone on, they have started to trust him a little bit more passing the ball. 24 attempts is not a lot. It really isn't a lot. So let me go ahead and lock this one in. I am putting a half of a unit on it, which is $50 on this play. Justin Fields, over 23 and a half passing attempts. Let me place this bet. Perfect. Let me add it to my bet tracker. Perfect. And now let's chat about it. Number one, as I mentioned, it's positive expected value. We got it at minus 109 on Caesars. The odds jam line with the VIG removed prices it at about minus 109.29. So gaining that edge of the 29 cents between the Pinnacle line, or excuse me, the odds jam line, which is pulled from Pinnacle and other sharp sports books and the Caesars line. That right there is where you have your edge. Any scenario in which you are beating the closing line is going to be profitable in the long run, is going to be a positive expected value bet. So it's mathematically profitable. Um, another thing I like to look at is just to see where every other sports book prices this play at. And most books price it either at 50-50, so minus 115, minus 114, minus 118, or they favor the over, like DraftKings, minus 130, Bet Rivers, minus 118, Pinnacle, sharpest sports book in the world, minus 130. The only book that has the under as the more likely scenario is Caesars which is telling you that they have this mispriced. Another reason why I like it, and this is specific to player props, I like to use the OddsJam Props app. So the OddsJam Props app just provides historical betting data. If you want to download it, uh, any iOS device, you can download it. Um, iPhone, I uh, iPad, desktop, whatever. You can download the uh, OddsJam Props app. It just pulls up historical data. So admittedly, not great. 17, 11, 17, 22, 21. He has not gone over this total yet. But the reason why I like it in this one specifically is because a couple of reasons. Number one, it's at least going up, right? 17 down to 11, 17, 22, 21. The number is increasing. Number two, the best half of football that Justin Fields has played in his career was the last half of football against the Minnesota Vikings. You hope that they can build upon that and take advantage of a porous Washington commander's passing defense. The commanders have the fourth worst passing defense in the entire NFL. If there's ever a scenario where they're going to get Justin Fields going, it's going to be against, it's going to be at home against this commanders team. So admittedly scary backing Justin Fields to pass, but it makes sense when you think about the game more than just the historical precedent and looking at the actual game itself. And most importantly, it's mathematically profitable. So that is my bet number one. The second bet I actually found using the Odds Jam screen. So this screen is completely free to use. You just go to oddsjam.com, go to screen, and you can pull up odds, not just for one game, but for a bunch of different markets, or a bunch of, for all of the games, for a bunch of different markets, which is what I was trying to say. And the goal, and let me zoom in a little bit because I know this is kind of small. The goal of what we're trying to do here is find um, basically outliers, not only in terms of the odds themselves, but in what the actual numbers are priced at. And it's just insane. Pinnacle... Prices Justin Fields passing yardage total at 188 and a half. They have it at, at basically even money. We can get it all the way down at 169 and a half 
at Caesars. That is a huge difference with passing yards as low as this, getting it from 188 all the way down to 169 and still at minus 115 odds. Pinnacle prices 188 and a half at minus 115. Caesars prices almost 20 yards lower also at minus 115. So this is going to be another play that I'm locking in. This is actually my favorite player prop of the night. This is one that I'm going to put a full unit on this one, $100 on Justin Fields passing yards over 169 and a half place bet. And we are good to go there. Same logic here. Why I like his attempts, obviously these two kind of um, interlap with each other, but just look where all these other books are pricing it. And side note, if you have prize picks, taking his over at 165 and a half is a great, great play. Using the odds jam screen is also really, really good for prize picks and underdog and thrive as well, because you can just take advantage of line discrepancies. Like Carson Wentz's under would be a pretty good play on prize picks as well. 227 and a half on underdog and prize picks. And like Caesars at 217, Pin at 224, and they favor the under. All these other books price it the closest. Looks like it's at 224, and Prize Picks and Underdog has it at 227. So using the odd jam screen is a really good way to identify outliers and find profitable bets to place. So I have two bets, both backing Justin Fields. The first one um, is Justin Fields over 23 and a half passing attempts. The second one is Justin Fields over 169 and a half passing yards. Two incredibly no- low numbers for a quarterback. Low for a reason because he has not done a great job passing the ball, nor have they let him pass a lot. I think that this game will be different, so I'm willing to back him, obviously, with my own money. And that is going to be it. Those are going to be my two bets. So if you are tailing these bets, let me know. We'd love to hear it. We'd love to hear your feedback because they're a little more controversial when you just look at historical precedent and stuff like that. So I'm guessing these would be a little bit divisive. So let me know your feedback, positive or negative. Comment on the video with your feedback. But that's it. So I appreciate you guys watching. Try to enjoy this game tomorrow and have a good one.